Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Sci-Fi Girl Games, and welcome back to the Flying Sheep server. I know, it looks different. Mike changed the map, and I've been working on uh, my house with Iggy and Ebeth for the past while. I haven't gotten around to recording anything, and I was about to record, you know, a little bit of background stuff for an update video that I just kind of voice recorded just now. And, which is why I have a bunch of mining stuff, I was just going to go mining and record it and then put it in the background of my thing. Oh, I have a new skin, by the way. Ebeth. Lovely made it. Yay. Anyways, I went to open the door. <laughs> There's water everywhere. <laughs> um, yeah, I should probably get a block for that. Um... There's water everywhere in my house. Uh, yeah, so this is the storage area. I'm probably gonna just kind of do a... Um, what am I gonna do with this? Where's dirt? There we go. I'm gonna grab some dirt. I'm just gonna make a kind of a tour, tour video because the map's changed. There's a lot... There's different people in it. Or at least there's some new people. What the hell? There's so much water in here. Oh god, I feel like this is Mike's retaliation because the other day Iggy and Ebeth and I uh, put a crap ton of chickens in his house. I helped try and breed them all and whatever. I'll put the video to his uh, coming in while we're trying to put the chickens in his house. He caught us in the act. And I was like, abort, abort mission, run away. So I feel like this is his retaliation. It's just putting water freaking everywhere. And now it's dark. Crap. Please don't spawn anything. Please don't spawn anything. I don't want things to spawn in here. Uh, and that that is one of the new people. I had, Or quote unquote new people. I don't know how long he's been on for. Probably since the 1.9 update. Good God. There's so much water. Dang it! No, I made it worse! No, don't do this, please. Please don't do this. Get back here. Oh, crap. How do I get rid of this? Get over here. Good god. Okay, what? Okay. Looks like your place is a leak. Might want to fix that ASAP. P -ho BS, hope this wasn't too much. Not sure how pranking goes. Doozy. Oh, it's doozy who did it. Oh, it wasn't Mike. Crap, now I'm gonna think Mike's gonna do worse. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay. I think it's a good prank, just putting water freaking everywhere. Because it's, it's a bit of a pain, in, it's a pain in the butt to move. And it's, you know, it's harmless enough. With the, with the exception of lack of torches everywhere. What happened to all the torches? Oh, they, he probably didn't pick up the the drops. Or maybe he did. Whatever. It's just torches anyways. Ah, crap. Man, such a pain. <laughs> ah, it's fine. <laughs> I thought it was Mike that did it. Now I'm going to think that he's going to do worse. Which he probably is. Okay. I think I think I've got all of it done. Is that is it good? Okay. Good. Tunnel tunnelness. All right, I'm just going to leave those there for now. I don't feel like dealing with it. Oh, it's night time. Can we sleep? Can we sleep? Sleep. I don't know if Iggy's on, or maybe she's, um, maybe she's AFK at the lovely skeleton spawner that I had made. I think Mike found the skeleton spawner, and, uh, Iggy kind of crashed through the world and saw it, so then we were, Mike was apparently going to do it, but I was like, no, nah, I'm on now. I might as well. I know how to do it now. I've never done it before. So I made one, and it works good, and I don't think anyone's gonna sleep. Never mind. No one's gonna sleep. I think Iggy's AFK anyways. So, what am I gonna do? I'm going to kind of show you around the new server since on my channel I haven't, uh, you know, recorded any of it. I 
Thank Iggy. Wow, that's a lot of bones. Thanks, Iggy. I have jungle wood because I will show you in a minute. We have a marketplace. So this is my house. Iggy and Ebath helped because I found a kind of a crater and I was like, I want to make a hobbit house. I did all of the outside. Like I have this wall that goes all the way around kind of my property. And yeah, I did all of this. Um, Iggy decorated the outside, including the tunnel and everything. I kind of made an outline so that they could help. They helped with this. Um, I did the floor. I'm so proud of my floor. Um, they helped with the pillars and kind of showing me kind of how good a uh, pattern to go with. Uh, I need to fix that. I need to do the rest of that. I completely forgot to do this. But yeah, they helped. They did, Iggy did that. Ebeth put some pillars into kind of where the pillars would go. Um, yeah. So this, I did this, I like that too. This is my mine. I have another entrance to my storage area from over here because it's convenient. My mine goes all the way down. I need to eat food so I can show you guys around without having to walk everywhere. So yeah, they helped a lot with uh, my house since we had changed the map and everything. So my other house was gone. Um, yeah, so I need to decorate the inside. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Pfft, I'll figure it out later. But I do need to decorate it on the inside. So yeah, I we put some trees everywhere. So it's a little, it's a hobbit hole. Sci-fi's hobbit hole with squigglies. So there are some newer people since the last map. There's Becky, whose house is over here. She's got a bit of like a farmhouse kind of thing going on over here. Um, and uh, Ebeth made a path kind of to everyone's house. So we're just kind of see if we can go all the way around. That's Mike's, we'll get around there. We're just gonna go this way. And so there apparently is supposed to be like a rail system, but I don't think this works because you can't go up. <laughs> you can't go up. So I don't think that works right now. Um, this is Iggy and Ebeth's house. Lovely little lakeside house with all this stuff in it and whatnot. Oh, that works. So this is their house on the inside. See the similar thing that happened upstairs. Yep. I think Iggy, I'm going to see if she's AFKing at the skeleton spawner. There's a villager thing over there. I think that, no, uh, Annie made a house over here somewhere in the jungle. And he made a, ho made a house in the jungle. I haven't seen it, actually. Okay, so she is at the skeleton spawner. Yeah. So she's down there. This is a skeleton spawner. It's not that fancy. It's just there's a room where you can AFK and then you go down and you can get, um, you can get the spawning stuff. 1.9 is actually really great for that, where you just swipe it and all of the skeletons die. I know that sounds really morbid, but it's so much more less effort. Whereas before you just, you know, you hit one skeleton at a time and then you get the, the drops and the XP. No, no, no. You see that 41 levels? Yeah, that's because I kept going down there and I swiped them all. Because I'm too lazy to go and try and enchant something. Man, if I die, I swear. So, animal farm, uh, colored sheep. You were not supposed to kill them because why would you do that? They're for breeding, or not breeding, they're asexual. They do not breed, they shear, they're for shearing. So, this is the marketplace. Um, this is Iggy's flower shop. This is a diner, which I think Ebeth is working on. There's just no food right now. At least I don't think it is. Becky's plot is here. This is my tree shop. I have to I have to add another chest over here because I forgot some wood. But it needs to be like a trap chest or something so that they can go along these two. Just because this looks nice. It's a nice pattern. I don't know. I'm going to have to fix it. I need more um, different kinds of wood. So this is the train depot again. Uh, there's a there's a cave under here. Um, anybody else's place? Does anybody else have a plot over here? I don't see any. Uh, nope. There was one over here, I think. 
and now there's not. Okay. So, I think it just got quiet. This is the cobblestone generator that Iggy and Ebeth made. Um, this is Mike's Nether Shop. Mike, I'm pretty sure these are all really, really expensive. Just saying. Okay, so it looks like Mike has decorated the inside of his house. And he's moved everything. And, oh, that's, that's pretty stuff out there. But, what? Yeah, it's dude. <laughs> Mike's bachelor pad getting all the chicks. That's why there's a bunch of, you know. I wonder if he put that there or if Iggy and Ebeth did. I hope they did. That'd be funny. Okay, so it looks like it's Halloween in here. I guess that's, you know, themed. So, this is nice. I like the decorations. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. That's really cool. That's nice. Um, double spawner. But what kind of spawner? Well, that's good. I want to know what's upstairs. I never, I've never been able to go upstairs because there wasn't stairs in the first place. This is his bed and a balcony. Okay, cool. What's in here? It's a pool. All right. So, can I jump down there? Yes, I can. Ha 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 ha. Less effort. Okay. So, Limbo's house is supposed to be over here. I need more food. Limbo's house is supposed to be over here. I don't think it's done yet. No, but it's getting there. Okay. Um, Mine Wraith's house is over here. I haven't seen him on in a while. Then again, I haven't been able to go on for, ver for you know, a bit. But in the last few times that I've been on for a few hours, uh, oops, he hasn't been on. So, uh, anybody else's plot on here? No? Okay. So, this is another train depot, I'm guessing. Yep. I'm going to assume this is another train depot. Um, flying sheep postal services. Oh, we have a thing. Okay. Uh, I think I looked at that earlier. Yeah, we have a post office. Um, and this, I think, has to ha is going to be having, this is going to have villagers in it for, like, trades and stuff. This will be, like, a villager marketplace. So, okay. So that's my and Larry's house. That's a little more than I saw last time. This is the, this is spawn. I helped make the towers. I went from, I helped from there to up there, excluding the, uh, the wool. And Iggy and Ebeth did the rest of this. So. so yeah. Okay. So, I wonder if anyone put anything in here. Nope. Okay. I'm just, I, I, I made a chest asking for bones, because I'm going to be tree farming as what is my uh, shop. Because I like tree farming. I like to just put a bunch of saplings down, bone meal the heck out of them, and just farm it. I don't know. I... That's what I like to do. So we're going to go in the nether because, wait for it, I started making a hub. I did the outline and Iggy graciously uh, dug everything out. So I made the outline of the circle and then she dug it out. And it's four blocks tall so that no gas can spawn in here. But it's got ample enough room for us to jump around like crazy. Um, this little hole here leads down to the original portal because just in case something happens, then at least we have that one that goes to the thing. Uh, this had a bunch of netherrack in it, but Mike took it for some secret reason, and I'm very, very scared for whatever that is. Please don't be a prank for us. Oh, God. But anyway, any rate, that needs to be decorated and kind of have, like, rails and stuff, because that's going to be for the nether hub which will be to get to very far away places in a shorter amount of time, such as like the ocean or something, I don't know. So, yeah, um, I don't know where Doozy's house is. I don't know where Annie's house is. I think actually Annie's house is supposed to be over there. So let's see where this path goes, as long as I don't die. Um, Cause obviously it leads somewhere. I actually have never gone this way before. Oh, there's Annie's house. Okay. So I was kind of right, but I was a little bit off. 
This is Annie's house. Okay. No! No, 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 no. I do not. No, no, please, no. No. Oh, God, this is a terrible, terrible plan. Please tell me I have enough time to eat food. Run! Run! I have 41 levels. I am not losing them all. <laughs> no. No, thank you. Nope, 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 noping away. Holy crap, that's a bunch of bows. Oh my god. <gasps> that one's got affinity? Oh my god, I'm taking you. I'm taking <laughs> I'm taking it. <laughs> Not like anyone wants it. Oh my god. Power three and breaking three? Pfft, taking you too. Hello. <laughs> oh my god, that's great. Because now it's got power three and breaking three. That one's got power three already. So if I find an anvil and I combine those somehow, woo, that's gonna be great. Alrighty. So what else can I get out of this? Because I don't have any armor on, if you can tell. I have no armor. What else is in here? Bunch of bones, axes, and arrows. Oh my god, these bows though. These are insane. Yeah. Okay, so that's 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 awesome. I wonder, because I'm gonna take one of these full bows, and I'm assuming you can attach a full bow like in the anvil and and you know one of these bows, and it'll be a full bow and with just with the enchantments or something. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> Let me try this. Okay, let's see. Can I do this? Yes, I can. It only takes. <laughs> it only takes two. So what happens if I do that? It only takes 12. Okay, power five, because it's power three and power three, but five is the maximum, so I'm breaking three. So what if I find, okay, what if I go find an unbreaking thing, and I'm just gonna like max this out. What if there's a fire? Is there a fire aspect anywhere? I'm just gonna make the most badass bow ever. Just out of those broken bows, I wanna do it. I have levels to kill, man. I have levels to kill. So, we have the ability to put this infinity power two bow and make it better. Infinity power three, okay. Then we've got power three on breaking three. And we can do that. And then we can go like that and that's gonna cost nine. So it's power four, on... okay. So is there only on breaking three? I thought there was more than on breaking three. Hmm. That throws I'm breaking four. How much? Well, I made a badass bow. Lovely. I don't know how far I'm breaking goes. So, if that's the maximum, I'm just going to be waiting for a fire aspect. That's all I've got to do today. So, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> I'm gonna go check out what the hall is. Bye! There's a cow and a chicken in a boat. Let um, them be. They want to ride off into the sunset together. Oh, they no should. Oh, except <laughs> the sunset goes the other way. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if I can push him. Oh, can I push him? Go, 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 go. Oh my god. It's great. It's absolutely beautiful. I just, I'd, I'd start push record because I was like, this is too great not to put in something. They will ride off into the sun. <laughs> the cow will row them away and the chicken will just, you know, be like the head. And the chicken's just flying constantly in the boat. The cow's yeah. like, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> this, is, this is too good. All right. There. There. I just wanted to record that because it's just... That's too good.